sounds so vague and mysterious with me and you Just when I think we're on solid ground You pull the rug out and knock me down Are you just trying to play with me? Hi, it's Rachel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a head chain I've seen a couple pictures of them and I kind of took my own spin on it and I'm going to show you guys how I make one. First things first, got to get your materials together. You're going to need a chain. I chose a silver one, but any type of chain will do. You can get these at the craft store. You can get all of these stuff that I have at the craft store. Um, Michaels or something. An ornament of some sort that you want to add for like embellishment purposes to the chain once you're done. And to connect it all, <clears throat> you're going to need jump rings. And of course you're going to need scissors to cut the chain with. And that's pretty much all you're going to need. So we are going to start now. So this is my model. Jody, hey! You know her? And I've been using her head today. She has a really nice head. Okay. So the first step, you're going to want to measure your model's head, or your head, depending on which head you're going to do it on. You don't have to use like a, a ruler. You don't have to use like a ruler or anything, or like a tape measure. You can just simply use the chain, of course, because it is what you're going to be using at the end anyways. So, you're going to want to take the chain, Kind of wrap it around their head not tightly but loose enough that it stays that it could stay like isn't like it could rest on their head um once you have the desired length you can cut it so i got mine i don't want to cut pretty much you take the scissors well, so yeah you're gonna cut it right where you want it. That, so easy. So now that I have my chain through around her head, I'm going to take one jump ring. These are the really tiny rings. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my fingers to kind of open it up. So pretty much you're going to take the jump ring, open it up very slightly because you don't want it to be too you know, loose or anything. So you open it and you put it through the ends of your long chain. So that is going to be making a circle. Sorry, it's kind of hard. I didn't open it too big. Okay, put it through the ends. And once you get them both through, you just kind of close back the chain Sorry, the link, I should say, of the jump ring. And there you have it. A circle. Okay, so now that we have our circle, we're gonna put it on our model's head. Right here. And look, we're already halfway there. Look how nice that looks. And actually, we're gonna just turn it around so we have the part that was linked with the jump ring at the front. Just because it's easier that way once we actually start to attach the ornament and everything else. So even if it's kind of sliding off your head, which it kind of is sliding off at the back, it's okay because we're going to be adding another chain, like I said, down the middle. So that'll help keep it on the head. So as it rests on the head, you're just going to pretty much take the long chain again and just kind of measure to see how much you're going to be using all right and just kind of guess not really guess but you'll you'll know okay and like we did before we are going to cut the chain with the scissors Just gonna place it on her head. Alright. The end result will be fine. Yeah. 
like I said, this will help keep it on the head and straight and stuff. So now we have our chain that will go out of the middle. We're going to take actually one jump ring. We don't need three after all. We're going to open it slightly like I did before. And we're going to attach it to one end of the chain. And with this end, we're going to attach it at the back, um, the middle, the middle of the chain in the back. So this is why you're going to need like a head to do it, because you're going to want to see. So if you just turn your head, other way. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay. So the middle, just pick the middle link of the chain in the back of the head. Kind of hard, but... Once you get it, there we go. Once you've gotten the jump ring through the link, just close it like we did before, and you got it at the back. It's going to be like that. Now we are going to bring it to the front and carefully open the first jump ring that we already attached to make the large circle. And I say carefully because, of course, we don't want the two ends sliding out since we already got that in there. That would kind of make the whole thing literally fall apart. So, as it's opened, just get that one last link through. All right, got it through. I'm not going to close it just yet because, of course, I'm going to be adding the ornament right here. Okay. I'm going to have to open it slightly more depending on the size of the hole of the ornament. And you may have to, like, take out one of the chains just because, just so you can get the right placement of the ornament. Now I'm just joining back this chain right here. And then once you've added all that stuff, close the jump ring, and pretty much there you have it. And it's too small. <laughs> no, it looks nice. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that. Try it yourself. Send us pictures of what you've made and if you have any ideas or suggestions or any questions, just put some in the comments below and thanks for watching. Pepper lipstick. Bye! Bye!